Hi everyone, this is Bill from Old Format. Another contest entry today, uh, this time for Brian over at AYBL Maine. Um, Brian is having a 27 contest, and by that he means him and his wife Shelly are celebrating their 27th wedding anniversary. Well, congratulations to Brian and Shelly. Uh, on 27 years, and here's hoping you have many more. Um, so, well, first of all, that was one of the criteria, was that I had to wish Brian and Shelly a happy anniversary. So there you go, I just did it twice, or I guess technically three times. But anyways, uh, I'm going to show two CDs and a movie, and I'm not going to show ones you might be expecting, because um, I've discussed Stone Temple Pilots and Soundgarden on this channel before. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some other albums that uh, you may not have seen as many times as the rest. Uh, so first, I'm going to show not only an actual album, because the other one's a CD, but somebody who, interestingly enough, was, was actually 27 years old in 1994. Kurt Cobain, Nirvana, and this is Unplugged in New York. This would probably be my number three best album of the year behind Soundgarden, Super Unknown, and Stone Temple Pilots, Purple. Um, really interesting that Kurt um, and the guys decided to do a live album where uh, they didn't play very many hits other than, uh, well, the uh, main reason they didn't play, like, you know, Smells Like Teen Spirit or anything is they kind of technically couldn't. It was acoustic. Probably wouldn't sound very good. Um, but the other was, Kurt himself was also a little more focused on playing other stuff. You know, like, he had also did Lead Belly, um, David Bowie, which Bowie really liked. Um, and the meat puppets and the Vaselines, and they even had the Kirk, uh, Chris, and, or sorry, the Kirkwood brothers from the meat puppets were on that record as well. So, um, yeah, I really like the way that they put the tracks together that they did. Uh, you would probably wouldn't expect to hear those on a on a live record, but they put them together, and they and it sounds really great, especially on vinyl. Next up is a CD. I want this one on vinyl. Um, when I see it in stores, it's usually, you know, billions of dollars, and I just don't have that kind of money. So CD it is, Pearl Jam and Vitology from 1994, Pearl Jam's third album. Um, yeah, I'm one of those guys who I only like some of their stuff. I'm not really a huge fan. When they started changing in the 2000s, I was kind of, you know, not really into them anymore. I like the Avocado album. Uh, but, yeah, this is probably, for me personally, the last great album. It's certainly one of the best of the classic period. You know, 10 versus Vitology. Great stuff. Um, no Code was kind of, eh, I know some people like it, or, you know, some people think it's great. It's all right. Uh, Yield, for me personally, was better than No Code, but I really like Vitology. This was one of the last of the great Pearl Jam at records, played it all the time, still do. Uh, definitely recommend it, guys. Finally... Um, you could, you could show a movie if you want, and that's what I'm going to do. It's not the best of the series, but this is the one that came out in 94, and it is a good one. You know, I'm not knocking it at all. I am a Trekkie, so Star Trek Generations from 1994 is going to be my pick. You can see I am a Trekkie. I do have some Star Trek pictures behind me. Um... But anyways, a uh, pretty good movie, you know, you got Kirk and Picard together, you got Malcolm McDowell, um, you know, lots of time travel, uh, well not time travel, not like they're going back hundreds of years, but you know what I mean. 
Um, still, good movie. Really good movie. So those are my three things that I'm supposed to do for, actually. Like I said, I was supposed to wish them a happy anniversary. I did it again. Happy anniversary. So those are my picks. Please go check out Brian at AYBL Maine. Uh, he's making some great videos right now. Personally, right now, he's doing top five albums for every year that he's been alive. He's in the 90s. He's almost done the 90s already. So, uh, yeah, go check go check those out and go check his other pickups and recommendations. Great stuff, guys. You won't be disappointed. Anyways, I'm Bill. I gotta go. So I'll see you later. Bye.